Look at that one. Look, it's already it's already come to <laughs> <laughs> Hey folks, it's Papa, Papa Texas. Maddie and I are gonna be doing some seating and the cool part about it, it's with this system right here, Burpee 72 cell seed starting system, self watering. Well, you gotta water it, but it continues to water for 10 days. We'll be seeding this thing and putting it inside with the first start of the things we're gonna put in the garden. All right, y'all enjoy. I lost the original beginning footage in the middle of this beautiful sunny day we had today so this is all you got <laughs> i don't i can't use my external microphone because it's messed up i gotta find me a new one or figure a new situation out on filming that's what i got for you here comes the video okay so here's what it looks like these are the watering trays uh it says it waters for up to 10 days so that's kind of cool and then what we have here, I'll just go ahead and show you a tray. If you look at the bottom, it's got a holes in it. So it's going to be on this material here. It's stuck down there. If you can see inside, it's got these little things here. So you just make sure they're all flat and you put hot water on them and they'll expand and fill this tray up. Okay, so evenly, evenly, just put a little bit of water in each one of them for right now. You know what? Put enough water in there to, to cover the top of it. Yeah, some of them are turning on me. Look at that one. Look, it's already, it's already come to... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this one too. Well, some of them, what they did was they dried up and they can't finish growing because they need more water. What, what it is, is just compressed soil. This one notch versus the two notches, I'm gonna draw a grid on paper so that I say where all my plants are so I can keep up with where they are. By doing this, this is tray number two and this is tray number one. When I make my grid on my paper, I know to start in this left-hand corner and it works just like this. Now on number two, it works just like this and I can say where all my vegetable or where all my seeds are so I know what's what. Makes sense? So right now, when I put my seeds in, I don't cover them up till I'm done so that I know I don't miss one or I don't double up on one. You got a bird laughing at me. Okay. I got my own okra seeds and I got booze. So these are Louisiana, these are Texas. We're gonna compete. <laughs> We're gonna do a few each. Boo okra, that's what we'll call it. Boo okra. And so we did boo okra all the way across. And then we're gonna do Papa's okra and we're gonna compete. We'll see what happens. The way that I get my my okra seeds is at the very end of the season. Uh, I just let let them get real big. Wow! I let the okra get real big, and then uh, I set them outside and just let them dry. And once they're completely dry, you just kind of uh, tear them apart, and all these seeds pop out. I mean, that wasn't even a whole lot of okra. I just let them get a good size. Okay, so that's where we're at. We're back. I need, uh, need like four cucumber, watermelon, some green beans. I lost Maddie. So as y'all can see, I got my grid on both pages. Tell me what seeds are where. And now we're at the point that we're just gonna start pushing them down. And I'm gonna add a little bit more soil on top. We're gonna water it with the watering system. This is gonna go on there and I'll smush it in there. And then uh, it's got a plastic 
top that'll go on it and it'll go inside the house for a while that's where we're at so i'll bring you up here we have a whole lot more things to get into the garden some things are going straight into the ground uh, my carrots will be in buckets my potatoes will be in that blue barrel i suspect that calvin over at calvin's corner is going to do potatoes again this year he, he's doing a garden so you're interested in watching people's gardens grow for 2018 spring uh calvin i uh, hope you go over there subscribe to him and keep up with him maybe if he wants to maybe he, me and him can do a contest and see who who gets the most taters or biggest taters or something like that and uh, i'm gonna leave it with another channel north texas vegetable garden and cooking that'd be hillbilly jilly she has good north texas garden information when i google texas gardens it, she just keeps appearing in there she's doing good on her tags <laughs> all right that's what we got for you you want to say anything before we go bye bye we gotta get the rest of this stuff planted but it's too wet i can't even till yet so we're doing it this way it's papa Papa Texas, see ya.